Hey guys, welcome back to the Great Dane channel. I'm about to take my good guy Finn here on a two and a half mile walk to downtown Hudson. I did a bike ride this morning and I rode, or I drove my bike down in the car. And then when I finished the ride, I just finished at my house thinking, huh, I'll take my dog down for a walk. So it's a pretty long walk. So I'm gonna act, it's only 70 degrees out, but I'm gonna keep him on the grass as much as possible. I'll tell you why here in a minute. Let's do this. Well, I got him back when he was just a pup. Way back then I could pick him up. Now he barely fits into my pickup truck. Yeah, but he's doing all right. And it's a great Dane stand six foot five. First hurdle is passing Daisy. Next hurdle is Finn. Finn not fighting the gentle leader. Okay, so the reason I try and walk on the grass as much as possible is these dogs don't have a lot of long walks in them. And a while ago, I took, I think it was Ferris or Frederick for a walk. And by the time I got downtown, the pads on his feet were bleeding. So I really got to keep him on the grass and preserve him as much as possible and then he should be fine. And then we'll drive home. There it is guys, we're walking on the grass. As much as possible, right Finn? Good boy. So for this walk, it couldn't be better. It's shady, got some clouds. Uh, what I mean by shady is we got a lot of tree cover and I'm able to walk on the sidewalk and keep Finn right there on the grass. All right, let's see how we can do with Finn and a runner going by. Very well. So even here I'm walking and I'm, I'm staying on the sidewalk and I'm keeping Finn on the grass. It's cooler, it's less abrasive to his little tender paws and he'll do a lot better for a two and a half mile long walk when his longest is probably a one mile. And it's, we're taking it slow. The good news is we're now getting in towards the historic village and you can see all the tree growth we're going to be in the shade here shortly here's one of my favorite big homes on the main street here just a beautiful setting here's another little house i like it's ambassador to norway john ong served under the bush administration Or how about this one? And that one. Someone loves dogs here. Thank you. You have a little drink? Get a drink, Finn. Not too much, just something to wet his whistle. Come on. Here's another special one. The Sorensen house just got repainted. Eighteen thirty. We're almost to downtown. More beautiful cityscapes. This is Western Reserve Academy, and this is one of the oldest observatories in the northeast part of the United States. Just a beautiful front porch that my wife has always lusted after. So now we're hitting the heart of downtown and it's time to take a lap and get a little thin exposure. So 
this'll be good. I'm gonna avoid dogs, I think, but we can see some people. And just to orient you, we are downtown and there's the clock tower, which you've probably seen in many of my videos. And this is the green. Thank you. Hi, handsome. Oh, we made it downtown. Very uneventful. Uh, his feet look great. It's cool. It's windy. And we're just going to go ahead and uh, take him back home in the car. That's a walk with the dog, uh, avoiding the hot pavement and protecting his paws. Have a great day. Dane stands six foot five. I feel his cold and wet nose when I close my eyes. It's a great day in the neighborhood. Why can't every dog be just this good? It's a great day to stand six foot five. Feel this cold and wet nose when I close my eyes. It's a great day in the neighborhood. Why can't every dog be just this good?